guys, it's Lily. So, I decided this would be the best time to put on my eyelash extensions. So, I did my own eyelash extensions about a month or two ago, and they worked out pretty well. What you're going to need, okay, so these are definitely not professional eyelash extensions. I'm using clusters instead of single lashes, which people that do eyelash extensions are like, don't do that, but whatever. So this is the kit that I have. It's the Ardell Individuals Starter Kit. They last, depending on how well you take care of them, two to four weeks. They come with the glue, the um, eyelash remover, tw and then the tweezers, and then short and medium lashes and so I used the ones that I had before so I had like the one that it came with and then these are actually different from what they came with these are just the the mediums and then there's also like you can get longs and shorts and stuff like that but yeah and then I decided to get these ones so these are Andrea individual lashes I thought they were Ardell and these are these have short and medium lashes, which look kind of the same. So these are like a lot thicker than these ones, so I guess we'll see how it goes. But I think I'm going to first start off by putting like this first row just like on my um, lashes just to get a start. And then going back in the with these and um, thickening, them, thickening them up. So... Also, you need a really, really up-close mirror. So this one is, like, really, really close. And I can see everything that's gross. Yeah, I don't have any makeup on, so sorry, not sorry. And I just did my eyebrows. And, like, I cut this one too much. And then, like, this one's just, like, a weird. Anyway, let's get started. It recommends um, to dump the glue out on, like, a piece of foil. But I don't do that because people say that, like, it dries up the glue. I just, like, dip it in the bottle and then I actually do use these tweezers let me zoom you in and I'm also gonna use like another mirror so like a handheld mirror and then also um, you need like one of these spoolie things first I'm just gonna spoil spoolie the eyelashes out just to, like separate them and stuff I'm gonna take the lashes and the tweezers and what I find most effective is just like getting them at the side I don't know if you can see this and trying to get like as many as you can and like lately pulling them up so obviously they got a little curl to them yeah so it has a little curl to them right here as you can see what I've learned is holding it by like two lashes do you see that right there holding it by like two lashes and then like going in at an angle like this and then placing it on top like that so the key with eyelash extensions is you do not want to get them on your lash line. So with fake eyelashes, like the strips, you put them like right on your lash line or on your skin. You don't want to get these on your skin because they're going to hurt really bad. And you're not going to be able to like close your eye or anything. And I'm going to get some light on this side. Okay. The lighting in my, in my room is such a mess. Like honestly. So if it feels like it's on the skin, take it off. And this is super cheap. Much cheaper than getting it done at a salon. Because getting it done at a salon is like, I think 80 bucks. Then this starter kit is $9. And then each individual like pack it comes with um, four rows. And they're like $3, so super cheap, but also not as good of quality. So we're going to unscrew the um, lash glue and take off this little... Okay. Nice. So this stuff is a lot different than regular eyelash glue. It smells gross. It's definitely a lot stronger. Okay, so I'm going to take my lash, like I got here. Got it right here. And we're going to dip it in the glue, so... But I kind of tilt this and dip it. So you not you don't need that much. So now here we go. We're gonna place it. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's not actually on my lash line. It's on my actual eyelash. And sometimes I just like to pinch it and press it down so that I know it's like stuck there. Just like that. 
These take a few hours to dry. They take actually like 24 to 48 hours to completely dry. So make sure when you put these on, do not wash your face for at least 24 hours. Okay, so I'm just going to keep it on my eyelash. It doesn't look secure, trust me, but just keep it on your eyelash because it's going to stick to the eyelash. So we're just going to keep doing the same exact thing, getting a really good grip on the um, cluster. And I'm just going to do the middle portion for right now. Sorry, you can't really see it. So even like after the second one, it kind of looks a little fuller now. Just a lot of patience and practice, honestly. It gets stuck to the freaking tweezer. Takes a lot of patience. Lots of patience and a lot of time. So make sure to do this when you have nothing to do, like me. So I'm just going to keep doing these and then I'll come back when I'm finished with this eye. Okay. So this is what my eyelashes look like just with that one round. They don't look great right now because obviously they're just like really thin. Whenever you're not using the glue, make sure to put the cap on so that it doesn't dry out. Since these are all medium length lashes, last time I put these on they were really long and I think that's why I decided to take them off. So I'm going to cut them a little bit, especially the ones towards the inner corner. So this probably isn't safe or smart, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to take my cuticle scissors and just chop a little bit of them off. Um, just a little at a time. Okay, now they look all wonky, but it's okay because we're going to put lashes over top of them now. So they like, I'm going to let those ones dry. I'm going to do this eye, and then I'll come back when I'm finished with this eye. Okay. So here's what my eyelashes look like right now. They look like spidery and like weird and choppy and stuff like that, but it's okay. So we are going to now use the Mega Flare um, Andrea lashes. I'm actually really, really excited about these. So I'm going to start from the outer. Actually, no, I'm going to start from the middle, and I'm going to work my way out. So I'm going to use the medium, so it goes short to medium. There's no long. And it just started pouring down. Right. I'm going to take the mediums, and these have like lots of lashes. So hopefully these will stay. Uh, and these are a lot thicker. These actually aren't too long. Oh my goodness. Nope. Boy, it won't go on. There we go. Okay. Push it down. So look at that, y'all. Definitely don't try these the first time you do eyelash extensions because they might fail you. They're really hard to apply because they're really thick. So definitely try the starter kit first. Okay, these are cute. Okay, so my battery's about to die, so I'm going to go ahead and do this eye and this eye, and I'll come back when I'm finished because you don't want to watch this. Alright, so I did them all. Now I'm just going back with the, um, the Ardell Naturals. And I'm just filling in like little spaces. So this isn't really necessary, but I'm just doing it just to make them look full. The important thing is to push them up and push them down on the eyelash to make sure they're very secure. Because if you don't do that and they're not secure, they're going to fall off. So doing this while they're tacky still is really important. Feels like a bush on my eye. Okay, so this is what they look like right now. I'm going to cut them a little bit just on the inner corners. There we go. That's a little better. This is what I look like with no makeup on, just eyelashes. I also did my eyebrows. I've been doing my eyebrows for like four months, um, dyeing them, or like three months, and Today, somehow, they got messed up, but whatever, it's fine. And I'm breaking out really bad, and, like, my discoloration's really nice. When you put on just concealer and powder, like, it looks so good. And I just, I really like the way these ones turned out. Two, two of these. Um, and these ones only took, like, two rows of the naturals, and then... Almost one row of the medium and like three, four of the short ones. 
after I'm done, I kind of like to pinch them just to make sure they're secure. They're going to feel really weird. There's going to be some white glue that pops up here and there on your eyelashes. It's okay. It will come off eventually. Now, for taking care of them, do not put mascara on them. Eyeliner, you can. It will just make the lashes last a little shorter because you're going to be scrubbing off that eyeliner. Eyeshadow is fine. Um, when you are taking off makeup or if you are putting on like eyeshadow or whatever, make sure to use a water-based makeup remover. So, so these two I really like. So this one is from Simple. This is Cleansing Micellar. Why, why can't I pronounce that? Mixcellar water? I feel like I'm pronouncing that really wrong. I really like this Garnier Skin Active, um, again, micellar. <laughs> Cleansing water. I love, love, love this stuff. Super good. So if you're taking off eyeshadow, if you have eyeshadow like on your crease and stuff, then take a cotton pad. But when you get close to your lash line, make sure to just use a Q-tip and like take it off. Do not wash your face for at least 40 I mean 24 hours so it is currently 6:43 right now so I'm not gonna be washing my face until actually 9 30 9 45 tomorrow because I work tomorrow so um, in the morning well tonight I'm just going to probably do a face mask and then wipe it off with a washcloth I'm not even getting it close to my eyes in the morning I'll probably just put my morning cleanser on and then take it off with a washcloth I'm actually going to be showering in the morning so when you're showering make sure to not put your face in the water don't splash the water on your face make sure to use a washcloth or something Turn away from the water don't towards turn towards the water sleeping I can't control my sleep I'm a very restless sleeper they feel really weird when you're sleeping try at least to sleep on your back um put pillows like in between your head or something so that you don't turn too much that is how I do my eyelash extensions oh make sure to brush them out in the morning so that they're not like you know crazy crazy uh, and make sure that they keep keep lifting them up because sometimes they can fall down. Also, I saw online to blow dry them to put them into place, so that might be a good thing to do. Um, but yeah, okay. So I'm gonna stop talking, stop rambling, and I'm gonna go. I love you guys so much. See you guys in my next video. Bye.